Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs. My growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you get to know moi and if you feel like the video just give you good insight or a good vibe that you truly appreciate please give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly appreciated send so much love like anything that gets you through your days nights you know weeks months and years i'm sending it towards you a million times so you know hey it, 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 it takes a lot of courage and bravery to get through the day and try to see everything as a blessing i already know <laughs> you, know, you got to be able to hey see everything as a blessing towards you and anybody with some low frequencies trying to block distract you know trying to do something to bring some kind of damnation towards my life everything is protected and highly loved so whatever you're doing i'm sending back that back towards you 20 million times fold anything that's negative hey it's getting depleted and it's getting sent back so i'm sending you healing um the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey ogres folks want you to play backseat towards your life of purpose give them back to the streets it's true anything that somebody when you know you're trying to make movement into your life you're trying to make things better maybe you like i've been slacking on myself i've been sleeping on myself you know i haven't been believing in myself i've been breathing negativity into my dreams my wants my whatever my whatever anything that's gonna make your life better and anytime somebody is trying to give you a negative doubt fear want to breathe fear into your daggone life cut them off cut them off you know this is at that point right now where i say it's like life has been pretty good life has been pretty good even though it, it could be a lot better i'm hey i'm still blessed with whatever you know if it's making me through the day and i can see different things from light like i've been playing like isolation and solitude towards everything a lot lately you know be a, a lot of different things like if i see uh funny um shorts like on instagram or something like that and people that that i'm uh connected to like that oh jesus i go ahead and share with them you know you may be having a crappy day or be something like that but as me being a hayoka i try to you know bring some kind of funny humor towards your life like we ain't gotta always be serious we ain't always gotta be depressed it'll be sometimes somebody send me something i'm like man i really needed that today thank you and it'll be just like universe you know spirit be saying hey so you know send that to such and such you know send that to sam or send that to george you know they really going through something today they need a little giggle you know that's why a lot of times y'all be seeing me you know if you're on my channel and stuff like that y'all go to my community section on the timeline i'll be sending stuff like that is funny i'll be sending different things that you know different mantras or you know uh different uh affirmations that you can say you know to get you through your day you know uh bring some kind of energy when you're feeling defeated or depleted or um something that'll make you laugh or even if there are certain things where you feel like giving up and like hey you know if you holding yourself together i'm proud of you you know today may have been that day where you were just not feeling it right now and it's okay even when it's just like you know i've been seeing like different videos like i can go on any kind of social media scent you know and it'll be somebody that i'm seeing it. and i mean you be looking like that you don't even do you even have a bad day and a lot of time people don't post on stuff like that but it'll be different times where y'all don't see me shed so many daggone faucets or there'll be so many different energies like i can be goofy i can be funny or there'll be days where you can catch me in my emotions or i can feel energy that's coming towards me where it may make me connect with there because there's a lot of times i said oh gosh okay thank you lord i'm on that <laughs> i'm on it i'm on it i'm on it where there'll be i can be making a video and it, it may bring a spirit towards me with somebody who's really going through some stuff like rosalind i needed this today or i thank you you allow me to know that i'm not the only one really going through some stuff and that makes me feel good where i can tell you hey i i can feel you i can feel your pain you know we go through different things there'll be a lot of things i don't share i'll be there'll be some times where i may have to catch myself in my feelings and guys like no i needed you to do that or it'll be a different thing where it's like hey i'm feeling very vulnerable today I ain't trying to make no videos it, it, it doesn't matter it's okay somebody's going to like this video that you're putting out or somebody's going to like that that content subject that you're putting out because this is something they're struggling with or it's just giving somebody to let you know to have a voice 
don't don't you know this is at that time where god's really trying to help you grow your backbone heal you through all your wounds and be present you know because it would be a lot of times where you don't want to speak on things because they may make somebody mad or somebody gonna be mad that you done up and told some stuff you know, um, that's supposed to be staying secret and stuff like that. And I say anything where it's hurting or hindering you, it's making you feel dehumanized or something like that. You speak up about that, bump that family jump. You know, be like, oh, that you supposed to do that amongst family. We fix that amongst family. We see where, where family at. <laughs> you know, because if you got one of the families that's trying to break you down in every way possible by trying to build themselves up. I don't need that type of family in my life. I can do bad by myself. I don't need nobody else to help me starve to death. It'll be one of those type of vibes where I don't need that in my life. I'm trying to be on that straight and narrow. I'm trying to use everything that was thrown at me, you know, to be able to give me a part of leveling up in some kind of way, even if it's to get up to that next step, you know, because God will always tell you, never look at that whole staircase. Just, just focus on that one step you're trying to get towards today. There's too many people in your life that can see you as that person to be able to blossom in some kind of way. You might be that type of flower, that rose that sit up here and grows through concrete. Or you in some kind of, you know, a field where nothing really grows, but you are that one, you know, that one flower that grows up through everything that's dead. You are being set as that example for that. You know, and you are being that example to set for that. You know, you go through different things. There'll be a lot of things that is very uncomfortable for me to talk about. You know, it was like a few, what was about a month ago? And I, I was so irritated with myself. I said, God, I don't like that because I kept on saying, you know, you know, you know, because it was a very uncomfortable situation. And usually I'm very projective. You know, I can sit up here and talk about different things that be okay about it, be goofy about it. There'll be different times where I'm like, oh, I don't want to cry, you know, and be one of those type of moments. But it was just like I talked about something that was very, very close to my heart that is very uncomfortable for me to talk about because I, I deal with that every day. I'm healing through it at the same time. And it was like God was like, you know what, you need to talk about it. You know, and I get tired of talking about it, but it'd be like every couple of months, he'd be like, hey, I need you to talk about it. I'm like, man, look, <laughs> you know, I'm, like, I'm trying to sit up here and heal from this. I'm trying not to talk about it, but, it, but he knows the reason why that he'll have you speak on different things into your life because you don't know, you know, because I, I tell people I, I don't, you know, I don't go through a lot of mental, emotional, spiritual abuse. I have to the point where I'm only defending myself. I ain't got no family. I ain't got nobody. Any family that I got that defends me, it done crossed over, you know, and I, it, it's just me. Different things that I thought I would die if I did not have into my life because it was just like me, you know, not having my children or my granddaughter in my life really affected me in a lot of different ways because I love my children. I love my granddaughter as my first grandbaby and it's like no longer having them in my life like that, you know, because of my situation, you know, because projection or whatever, I still had to stand strong because that was what the devil wanted that was what the enemies wanted you know they'll put you in a situation where if we take everybody out their life and then we single them out they're going to want to out themselves or they're not going to want to believe in themselves they don't want to stand forward in themselves they won't have the strength if we leave them in weakness and it'll be like i said the other day it'll have devil tactics god will use devil tactics in your life to raise you up in unbelievable ways and that's what it's doing you know, and being at peace in my life, I don't know how things are going, but all I can do is just focus on today. That's all I can do is just focus on today. You know, day, there'll be days where it gets hard. There'll be days where, you know, I'll think about certain people into my life and it will really be heavy on my heart. But I just give it to God. I'm like, God, you know, this has really got me in my, my feels today. You know, he's like, it's okay. You know, you have to be, you have to be, when you are a warrior, in, in, you don't even have to be a warrior, any person, there's going to be some days where you going to have to let those emotions come to surface. If you need, and a lot of times, if you got somebody that you can really trust in, like it's your human diary, and you know that person is never going to use your vulnerability, your weaknesses, whatever you went through and go against you about it, be telling all your business or whatever, you know, and they're allowing themselves to be, hey, you know, what's going on? Look, what's going on? You need to talk, you know, what's going on? Because I see you ain't yourself today. You know, you're not cheery. You're not doing. Those are the type of people you want in your life. Those are the type of people you hold in your life. 
Anybody who wants to sit up here and keep bringing up your past. Anybody who wants to use the different things that hurt you, irritate you, your pet peeve or whatever against you to try to hinder you because they got situations going on with them. Those are the things you have to really let go of. Make peace with it and let go. You know, you don't realize it's like you, you are your own book. I feel like we're all in our own simulation in life where... Uh, you know, we're all in our own little world. We're all going through our different things. Be like, Rosa, how you know what's going on in my life? You, Everybody's going through something in their life. You know, if you are in that life where you got support of family, there's nothing negative going on. You know, we're going to have our little, you know, uh, disagreements, you know, sibling rivalry or whatever like that. And you going through that, that's a blessing. But when you going through some stuff that really triggers you, like where you have you, you were that person that was always a giver. You were that light worker where people use your, you know, your your uh your kindness for weakness. You know, when when they when they needed you, you were there. You dropped everything. Even if y'all y'all could have been bumping heads all the time, and you let that pettiness go, and just was coming in open arms. And as soon as everything got okay, they went right back to that vibe. And that really hurts you. That's using you for a lesson. Like this is what it's telling you. You know what? You can be a kindest person. But there's some people you just not need to not have that welcoming door for. Because that's becoming a habit. You know, when people need you and they want you to do this, oh, they're, you know, oh, you know, uh, you always that person, you Mr. Reliable or you're Mrs. Reliable. A lot of times where you have to stop allowing people in your heart like that. This is at that time where, you know, you don't went through the different things. We don't went through the pandemic with, you know, people losing lives left and right. Like, you know, it, 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 it's like we do that every day. There's somebody who passes away every day. But it was just like when I say Ishtar got real, Ishtar got real for the last four or five years. And this is at that, that moment where you're having that pop quiz like, did you learn your lesson? History repeat, repeating itself. It could be somebody toxic coming right back in your life. It could have been that number one weakness in your life. Are you going to allow them back in open arms? Or are you going to remember the last five or six times they done sit up here and disappointed you or stabbed you in your back? And this is at that time you got to say, no. I'm living in my life. Because you'll notice there will be different times people will see you in your peace. And you doing your thing. And they'll come right back. Just to see if they can go ahead and play you as Bobo the Fool one more time. And that it could be a person like, I'm a real kind person. Why do people keep doing that? Because they see that. They see that within you. It could be a thing where there could be people that really appreciate that. And a lot of times, it'll happen so much. Even the most people that don't even have a hidden agenda or a motive or intent against you. It'll make you so closed off. And they'll tell you, do not allow the cruelty of the world make you bitter. Let that mess make you better. It'll be so many different things. Y'all don't heard me talk about different stuff in my life. You know, where it's happened. You know, recent stuff, is it, it got crazy for me. And it's just like, the devil wants me to stay focused on all that. And I'm like, nah. Nah. They want, that's what they wanted me to be distracted on. They want me to stay focused on that. Because I had so many people that was in my life that I love, care for, support, support it. You know, would take a bullet for it. Be those are people that put me right in front of the bullet and be like, bow. You know, and those different things. And I had to really digest that into myself and to say it's still going to be okay. You know, that's what the devil wanted me to stay focused on. He wanted me to so how many people just left me. And, you know, when I supported them, it wouldn't be nothing. It wouldn't be like, oh, you know, you did this to me. Oh, you did that. And be like, nah, what you need? If I can be able to do it, let me see what I can do. But it came to that point where God put me in a situation where all if all you have is just kindness, love, some kind of peace into your life, and wisdom, and knowledge. How many people would you have in your life? Trent Shelton, I heard Trent Shelton say that a lot. How many people will you have in your life? And those are the people that, you know, you going through different processes of your life. And it's like God going to show you exactly who the people are. They're telling you you need to cut off. Or they'll be showing you who these are the people that you need to hold close. Because these are genuine people into your life. Or these are different ones that you need to cut off. But still appreciate them. And some of the folks you have to just love from a distance. You know. There will be different things where people want you to just sit up here and play backseat to your life. Because it's just like you showing too much power. You showing too much strength. 
We don't like that. Even like even things were uncertain when we try to sit up here and maneuver things to place confusion in your life, make you feel like everything is a misunderstanding. You ain't seeing this. You don't know this. Blah 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 blah. And it's just like, okay, I see what I see, and I know what energy speak to me. You know, because it would be just like action. You know what they say? Action speaking louder than words. That must be fake. Is I don't know what to. What is the energy telling you? You know, spirit is a silent snitch. You know, it'd be just those things like, oh, okay, that really hurt. What you gonna do? What can I do? <laughs> I know what I can do about my life, but I can't do nothing about that. But I know what I can do about me. What? Keep it moving. It just showed me all what I need to show. They for self, okay. They, they, they got a hidden agenda, okay. If it's gonna be anything, anything where you know it, it gives you that gut feeling that somebody doing something they ain't supposed to do, any, any time it's gonna set up here. And it's going to reveal itself one way or another. You know, if you thinking something and you ask God to have, hey, can you reveal something to me? If it's meant for you to know it, some kind of clarity going to be breathed in and out of that, it's going to show you. But these are those different times. It's like, you know, you can't be worried about the future. You can't be worried about this. It's just like they want you to be in that present. But just look at how life has changed in so many different ways have you learned different lessons from things have you forgave people that wronged you and have you forgave people that wronged you and wasn't even sorry it'll be showing you when you hold anger and hate for somebody you put you giving that power away you know or you, if you constantly keep thinking about something they have done to you that really just messed you up just letting you know there's there that that rent that they they plan you know you ain't they ain't even you ain't charging them to stay in your life like that. You you holding yourself where you can have your mind on something positive that's taking place in your life. And it's like, you know, a lot of times it's hard when you got so many different things that's going on into your life where you can't even pick a struggle. They all of them happen at one time. But what is the three things that's positive into your life? Hey, I can make people laugh with my goofiness. That's one. Hey, God allowed me to be, a, a, you know be able to wake up this morning even though it may be a funky day but I'm gonna try to make the best of it that's too you know hey I made it through the day and ain't nothing fell apart you know even me even though I be like broke busted and disgusted but hey I'm still here and then when you start doing that every day every day and it's just like giving God good graces like even God you know hey nothing really good happened today but hey nothing really bad happened today you know but I'm still grateful. When he even showing you, even when little, when things are at peace, those are the different things you can say. Hey, I didn't have a negative thought all today, or at least it would just be able to say, okay, I haven't had a negative thought to where it it drew, it made me transfer my emotions or made me stay focused on this to another another negative thing, another negative thing. It just showed me, okay, what's the lesson from it, or whether I need to forgive, or you know what do I need to cut off and let go of okay or if, if I'm allowing you know if because if, if it could be a person I'm holding on to that where God's trying to take me apart from they're trying to close that door let that door close you know the different things that's taking place into your life where you can be very grateful for because there'll be a lot of times where people can see you as that person like you know what if powerful people they really want in that vibe that's just saying that person really wants to do something with their life. I don't see them in so many different emotions and so many different struggles. And they're still trying to be able to push through that next day. Something good can really happen for that person. Even if they have a major setback for that day. You know, sometimes you have to be able to experience a lot of daggone, you know, failures to be able to create a daggone success for you. But it's up to you on what you choose to do. That's all it is. It's up to you what you choose to do and be able to make it through the day. It's all about your thought process, all about your perspective, projective. What 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 do you you know? How are you seeing things? How you choose to go about it? You know uh, how how you, you know it'd be a different situation where God, you know, you having a test every single day. It'd be a test every single day. It may be something that's really gonna irk your nerves, or you gonna allow it to irk your nerves. Because if it is, it's just like, oh, that gets on my nerves. Just telling you you have to have patience for that situation or be able to let it go. We don't have control over our lives. The only thing we have control over is what we speak. If we choose to respond instead of reacting or we choose to absorb instead of observe, you know, or whatever. How we choose to move that first, you know, first foot forward. 
it'll be different times where somebody will throw a ball and they trying to see if you're going to throw it right back. And I'll be like, you throw that ball. Okay. And <laughs> what are you going to do with it? I'm going to leave it right there because that's not my bone to be carrying. I don't, I don't have no bones, you know. Shoot, I'll be throwing them things in the trash, especially if I'm eating chicken or something like that. I ain't got time to be holding no bones. But I'll see what you're doing, though. <laughs> and be like, oh, I'll see what you're doing. you protecting. you blocking. you distracting. Okay. You know, and those are the different things that we, you know, those are purposely placed into our lives to see. You know, it'll be a, a okay, you trying to sit up here and get a, you have an essay that needs to be due by the end of the week. It'll be different times where people may know this may be a major grade for you. And there's a lot of people that know if you sit up here and you get this grade, you automatically graduating or whatever. You you know, you, you, you graduating early because these are the different things where they, you know, the teachers and, the, you know, the uh, professors and stuff like that. Or even the principals like, hey, you've been making some good grades and you, you've been, you know, the AP, you know, student, you know, that's all, you know, in, in extra. Like, you keep on being overachiever on different things in life, you know, or whatever. And you, you, you really doing some stuff. So we want to go ahead and give you a couple of essays because if you know you can get, you know, these essays to either get to that passing grade or excel past that. You gonna be able to, you know, you be halfway through the senior year, or halfway through, uh, you know, the year before that, whatever you, you know, before that. <laughs> I was like, what is it, junior, your junior year? That's what I meant to say, or whatever. And you may, may be able to graduate, but there'll be some hating folks, some hating ass folks to be like, okay, well, we gonna go ahead and, you know break into the locker, you know, steal, steal the laptop, or, you know, damage the laptop, or we might, you know, we see these projects, and we might be food barring it a little bit, just because the fact is, they, they know, if you, you know, it already got word to mouth, like, hey, you know, that person, they've been really doing good, and they hating on you, there'll be a lot of other people that are just so proud of you, and it's just like, dad, there'll be different people that are admiring you, and like, oh my God, you know, you, you my goal, Right there, I want to be that, and I'm proud of you. I see what you're doing. I want to do that. What was your secret? And you just telling people, hey, you know, I stay focused on my studies. You know, I see a lot of different things. I have my little long time, or I hang with my friends, but this is something I'm really ready to do. You may be tired of school, but you know, this is what you need to do to get to where you're trying to be at. You know, yo, you could have them type of parents that, you know, hey, we, you know, we all got doctors and lawyers on the family. We expect that to do, do, you know, for you too, if that's something you decide to do, you know. But there'll be some people that'll peep you out and be just like, who they think they are. They think they're so much better than us. She cannot graduate. He cannot graduate early looking like that. So they're going to do everything they can to breathe. Come to somebody, oh, you think you can do that? that? I mean, man, I know so many people that had that daggone subject and they failed it every single time. It was like, it was, or, or that teacher, yeah, you know, that teacher be, you know, be acting like, you know, be always trying to breathe some kind of negative energy. And you be like, oh, okay, well, thanks for telling me. And it'll just give you that mental note. Like, you ain't even kind of converse, but it's just telling you, take that mental, you see, they, they trying to breathe. They trying to, um, they, they trying to be fronts. They want you to take back seat to your life because they don't want to see something good for you, you know. And it'll be one of those things where God will use that. And will purposely put people into your life that's going to come up and try to shadow block you all the time. You know, be one to just sit up here like, God, you know, dang, you don't promise me this and this and that. But I never, I, yeah, I did promise you that, but I never told you, going, I'm going to hand it to you. You know, you don't look at these situations into your life. It may piss you off. It may get on your last nerve. You be ready to end a couple of folks. Like, look, if you don't go find some business other than mine, don't you got something to do in your life? And, you know, and they may not even be doing nothing. They, like, maybe not want to. But just for the fact of you being able to do that, there may be some kind of way, like, you making your life about you, but they making their life about you. Okay, and it'll be one of those like, why are you making this about you? I'm trying to better my life. What does this got to do with you? You know, and be one of those things. It'll be just like, you know, you have to understand there's some people that just like that. And some people going to actually be that one that's going to help you move forward. But there's also going to be a lot of people that going to try to help you keep yourself back. You know, my mom used to always tell me that you're going to be hanging around with some folks that's going to be purposely, you need to let's go with some of these folks. You're going to miss out on a lot of blessings if you keep on dealing with certain folks. My mom used to tell me that, you know, and now it's like after my mom, you know, she done went up to the upper room, you know, God bless her. So, you know, I had to learn a lot of different things that she was speaking truth to that, you know. And be those different things, but it's just trying to tell you, keep on doing your studies. Keep studying hard. You know, th there'll be different times, like maybe you, you know, 
it, all of a sudden you gotta use your laptop for certain things and all of a sudden it, 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 it glitches or you know it don't want to stop it'll stop working in some kind of way and you may be frustrated then it's just like you know what Ugh, let me then it may be your brother or sister or something like hey can I go use your use your computer you know man I, I got everything on the flash drive I'm just trying to get this stuff done it's like if it ain't going one thing or another or another and there'll be a lot of different times where you may be experienced that into your life Maybe experience that into your life where there'll be one thing after another and it's another. And that's why it's challenging you. The main blessings you have, and I put that out the other day on a post. It was it yesterday. And man, your blessings is gonna be that thing that's gonna really challenge you into your life. And it'll be some kind of some kind of crazy miracle. You end up excelling past that. You went and it'll be telling you really step back and see what took place. You had so many haters that was trying to come in there and distract you, trying to bring fear and doubt all into your life. You know, all into your blessings. You know, did everything they can, the food bar, anything you had that was going to help you. Maybe you lost the textbook. All of a sudden, then, then next, you know, after everything's done, all of a sudden, you, you like somebody, hey, you know, I found this in my locker. Or, hey, I found this in the trash. Or, hey, you know, you go to the office to go get something. Like, hey, you know, I found your book up in here. Somebody brought in a lost and found. Or somebody put it over here on the desk or something. You're like, oh, okay. Knowing a good and well, I had it in my locker, but okay. It'll be different things where you see where the devil was, but also God used that to you. And it's like you see how many things that stood into your way. And you still you still end up excelling past it. You, you, you even shocked your shook yourself. You're like, I was shook. <laughs> you know, I was like, I was shook. I did what? You you know, you probably needed you a score of 280 and you end up getting 465. It'll be something like that. You know, and it'll be like, as soon as I said that, like, God, dog, okay, thank you. You know, and it'll be something like an example like that. And that's what life is. That really what life is. You will go through so many different things. And it was like a, uh, I think I was on em Empowering Empaths this morning where I seen, um, it was a, a post that was talking about, you know, that, that person that broke up with you, you know, was a blessing. That person that stabbed you in your back that left you you know a person that you've been supporting this whole time didn't even support you when you needed that and it'd be all those good those different things that's coming into your life that you may not it may be something that really hurt you it may, may be all heavy in your mind to where you can't even function and not realizing when you take day by day to be able to just like let me go through my day without having to focus on this let me put my mind or let me let me do something that's going to be very therapeutic for my life or be very productive to where it can take my mind off of that because it gets to that point where it's not saying you should never avoid going through a feeling because sometimes you have to be able to go through that you have to be able to go through those moments you're mad you have to go through those moments of sad being depressed being angry feeling betrayed and stuff like that but it's telling you don't plant yourself there you're going through life to where you're trying to better yourself. You're trying to create. You are. You already passed the work of progress. You putting the finishing touches on your masterpiece. Okay, and it will tell you. Look back at so many different things that came into your life. They try to destroy you, and yet right now you in some kind of peace. And it may be that you've been looking like you woke up today. Like I woke up this morning goofy as I don't know what. I'm like, shoot, I'm feeling a whole lot of people energy to the point where you're, you're, you know, you hearing colors and you smelling sounds. Like what's going on with you? <laughs> it's like you hearing colors and you smelling sounds. Like, oh, that sounds like a ring a ding dinger. You know what I mean? One of those different things. Like, I don't know what's going on. But it is like downloads is coming in. If you know you're going through different ear ringing is like crazy or different stuff that you starting to have these epiphanies and it'll shed some light of clarity like you understood why you went through it. Or this is that that time to say stand up for yourself. Don't bite your tongue. Like because a lot of times, even to me, I don't understand. I don't know if other people feel that way. But a lot of times when. You see something where people are just trying to be, you, you see where they're being extra. Like, I want you to feel like you're by yourself. I want you to feel like you are not loved and this and this and that. It'll be just like, okay, you really trying to make me feel some type of way, but I'm okay. That shows me that you, you may be going through some uh, personal stuff within your life where I know I haven't done nothing to you, but 
I'm going to keep on allowing myself to be me and healing on where I have, but it's just allowing me to know where you fit in my life and where you don't fit in my life, and I have to be okay with that. you going to be mad for what? You know, I, I was mad, I was hurt, I was busted, I was disgusted, but now it's just like, I'm. A, that was the distraction, okay? You know, it, it's going to be at that time where it's telling you release that, you know, allow yourself to forgive people that are not even sorry into your life. They don't deserve that type of energy to be placed on that, where you're putting that focus on them. And that's a lot of times, that's the reason why people be doing that, because they want you to steer your your, your focus off of something that's productive and put, I don't want you to focus on me. I don't like you, this and this and that, you know, I, you, you see how many people we got to not like you, you know, or we get so many people that just don't want to be bothered with you anymore, or you, we, you know, or we want you to feel unloved, or you want to be able to do that, it'd be just like, okay, I love me, I matter to me, I have a purpose here, I'm standing in my strength, and I'm standing in my power, and I'm moving forward to my life. But I still send you love and grace in your life Even though you wish everything up under the sun to me That is not positive, defeating Or even, you know, being obsolete You know, anything that's negative That you're trying to place into my life But I still wish love and light toward your life And whatever healing that you have a war against That you want to keep projecting on me You know, that that's not something I'm going to take personal I used to, but now it's just like For me to have a healthy advantage in my life Anytime where anybody wants to be like that you know, um, even it was just like matter of fact, I forgot to say it was um, in the video that I had um, the other day. They really did good. It had a lot of views on. I was just like, wow, that you know that blew my mind. Um, it was uh, about you know how God uses devil tactics, you know, to be able to help you move forward or whatever. And it was somebody I don't know who they were, but it sounded like they were a cult, and it kind of creeped me out because it was just like okay, you know. And there's no disrespect towards anybody who you know who's in a religious group, but it was just like the way it was named and how they projected it towards me and made me. It was like God, it, heaven's love of God, Father God, Jesus, you know, brother, son, something. It, it was like that with a whole daggone, you know, whole family group whatever but it just reminded me when I first heard it it gave me that vibration of, of heaven's gates you know and there's no disrespect towards them but that's what it made me feel like and they were trying to say you know God didn't give us AIDS God didn't give us uh, you know cancer please sister you know um, can you please not say that you know you're breathing um, negative things about God I said I didn't say nothing about God giving us any kind of AIDS or cancer like that I said the devil will put something like that in your in your into your life and God will use that as an example to breathe life into it you know, the devil will place stuff in our lives to make us feel like our lives can't get any better than what we're standing in right then. It, you can be homeless at that time. And then the next thing, you know, you'll have somebody that knew you or known of you. And you may be, you know, preaching different things or you may be giving good advice to other people out here on the street. Because there's something that you, you know, you, you know you're living in your purpose. Even if you had to do it homeless. And there may be somebody that catches the eyes. Like every time I see this person, they always got something so positive to say. Even when they're going through the worst of life. Like, you know, it felt like, you know, anybody be like, oh, God failed them. Where was God? And where was your God then? And, you know, you know, people will say that. And it was just like, you know, circumstances will happen. It, you can, God will bring, it could be something that's very tragic into your life. And he can bl bring some kind of blessing out of that tragedy. And I notice that when I bring out a lot of different things that are like, uh, whether it's in my videos or my post or it could be an Instagram short and it gets a lot of views into it. It'll be somebody that's trolling that's trying to bring some negativity on that. And it's just like, if you have to put subtitles on, because I always make sure my videos have subtitles to it. If you can understand it before you even think about posting something like that. Because number one, I don't never say that God wish something like that or God plays something like that. I'm like, please go watch that video again before you come at me like that. You know, it'll be just times like I'm an INFJ. You know, we can sit up here and agree to disagree and be okay with it. But it's like I tell people real quick, don't force your beliefs on me. Or don't try to put in something to try to carry something else that, that's going by negative. You know, you try to be negative Norman or you try to be negative fancy. And I don't have time for neither one of them. You know, but it was just about just telling people we go through we go through storms every day. And, you know, it was like my homegirl when I was like, I was really feeling like, I was feeling myself. It was just like, 
you know, really trying to force myself to see a positive perspective in a negative situation that I face on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just like, oh God, it's always something, you know, and I'm really tired of it. But it's just like, I had to be able to allow myself to know God is keeping me in the peace of the midst of the storm. He is creating this storm for me to be able to be out in my own storm. And they seen on my phone went ding, and it was just like... They showed Hurricane Rosalind that was going there. And I was just like, you know, I sent this to my girl. I'm like, man, look, when I sit up here and say, you know, why uh, you, we noticed that a lot of, well, all storms is named after a person. And then when it comes to that, and I wasn't even trying to be funny, but I was just like, that God would bring some kind of crazy he he, you know, and he wasn't even being funny because I don't think anybody, anything that somebody's going through to where it's tearing their whole life apart or there's somebody who's died in that situation, I don't believe it's funny at all. That's not something that's funny. I've been in different things where I've been in tornadoes and stuff like that. Used to live in the Midwest and stuff like that. So it was really harmful. You know, very crazy at times where, you know, you, you know, I had, thank God, you know, I've seen where you know, roofs and stuff done came off. People in cars be all messed up. I know mine was. It looked like somebody put Teflor on that mess and beat it up. You know, like God was shooting up my daggone car. It was. It really felt like that. Mother, Mother Nature was doing it. But and it was just like when it when I said that it was just like that. You better be careful what you say. You said you know you become your own storm. Next thing you know, instead of parents saying Hurricane Roslyn, I was just like dang it hit New, New Mexico. And I hope and pray everybody is good there. You know there were no fatalities or everybody safe. And I really hope that. But it was just you know giving that as that prime example. But you are moving into your life where you have no control over what has gone on into your life and God is like at that point where he is really trying your faith your patience your belief and and promising on what he has told you into your life so he will send different things into your life and you know it'd be like if, you know if God really loved me and all this stuff why did he keep sending you know why is he not doing these different things in into life where all these enemies are coming to hurt me or coming to do you know worse than that to me or trying to all all you know trying to stand in my way of different things and it's just like for you to really have gratitude and really have a strength and some things are gonna get really hard for you and it's getting at that point where you need to get very aggressive. Like, you know what, I don't care what's going on. I'm going to still try to vibe in my peace. But if it's something I'm going to have to go through that's going to shake me, it's going to make me at the same time. I have to be able to have that type of vibration. I have to be able to have that type of meaning in my life. There will be different things that's out of my control. I got people, everybody, everybody, they dag on mama trying to make sure my truth don't come out. You know, my blessings are constantly blocked. You know, I got cloaking spells on, on everything that I put out. You know, all type of different things because I'm moving in my truth. And it's okay. If you want to be okay, comfortable in your lives, you go ahead and be that. If you're doing different things to hurt me in some kind of way, brother, sister, I'm still going to forgive you. I'm not holding that type of energy because that means I'm keeping my focus on what is important into my life. I'm not playing backseat to my life. I'm going to show you how much I have a backbone in myself. And when I sit up here and say something, that's what I meant to say earlier, where you don't have to be combative by holding your truth. When you see that somebody's trying to do something where you're seeing they being messy, where they being sloppy, you can say, okay, I see that you're projecting or whatever, and you got somebody that's trying to get you out of your peace because they're getting some kind of reaction out of you. You can say, you can say what you got to say, like, hey, I'm not trying to argue with you, but this is not going to be my vibe today, tomorrow, or the next day, but I see what's going on. Okay. You can do that. Whether it's like, oh, you misunderstand. Okay, I see what's going on. I'm going to go with my gut before I go with what you're saying. Because my, my intuition and my intuitive and my gut is telling me something different than what you choose to be acting like you're projecting when I see it. You know, and being that, that's showing you you're standing in your power. And you prove an exact point that God wants you to be. I'm going to send people like that into your life. When I want you to become better, I want you to do better, speak better, do see better, all those different things, move in a different vibration. I'm going to send people in that like that into your life for you to see if you're going to recognize it. Are you going to play small? Or are you going to be quiet when I'm telling you to roar? You know, are you going to be weak when I'm telling you to stay strong? Different people want to keep walking over you, or you gonna allow them to keep taking advantage of you like that, or are you gonna put your your you gonna put that boundary up. No matter how much of it is, if somebody puts boundaries up with themselves, 
and you okay with it, they need to be okay with your boundaries too. And when you say no, it should not be an issue. Now it's different when you at your job and they telling you to do something. They telling you, you know, you got to be able. You can't be saying no. I ain't gonna do that. Well, I was that no. I ain't say that. You know, I'm talking about different other things. Where if you see, you know, I've had my job where I had to have a, a boss that all he wanted to do was just brag, brag, brag. Oh, we were on a yacht. We were on this. We we're on that. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. And he was like, well, that was rude. No, that wasn't being rude. You just want somebody to either be envying you for what you want to do. You want somebody to be jealous because you're trying to, you know, do this. But you ain't paying me to do that. you paying me to do something else. And that's not a part of my job description. So if we're going to speak about business and what we got going on in here, there's different changes got to go. We can, I can sit here and listen to you all day. But whatever you did this weekend really don't hold no purpose in my life. So I'm going to go ahead and do what you're paying me to do. Now, if you want to be mad at me about that, you're like, well, that was rude. Well, you know, shoot. Nobody, I'm that type of person. Don't come to me looking like you're going to get your ego fed because I'm going to keep you starving. You're going to be emaciated messing with me because I'm just not going to do that. You ain't paying me for that. And there are many times I got enemies like that and I lost my job because I was like that because I'm not going to be that yes man for you. I'm not going to be that. You know, and I had a lot of people after I lost my job be like, you know what, Rosalind, come here. We really admire you. I said, why? Because you always stood up for yourself. You could be the shortest thing in the building, but you were the loudest one. And you did not take no ish off of nobody. I sure didn't. I used to be that way, but it was just like, oh, no, you trying to sit up here and corrupt me before my 90 days so you can have a reason to go say something. And it will be one of them ones where I'll be talking up under my breath or I'll be having that daggone conversation with myself where I'll be crying. And it will be some people that already know, like, girl, we ain't crying. You ain't crying because you sad or upset. They don't know that's one of them crying where, you know, they're going to really make me be, you know, it's just like, you know, you love and light and all this. And like, no, I'm saying your hood and wish your mother would. You know, I'm one of those, one of those daggone things. It ain't got time for it. But these are those different things where I'm not going to come out my peace because some other people are at war. You want I to stay over there. That's one of the wars they did World War 2010. I'm not. They ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't finish my war. I'm good. My, my flag is right there. I got my plaque. I got my daggone, you know, I got my brigade sitting right over here. I'm good. Whatever you got going on, send a loving light towards you, but keep that mess over there. You know, it'll be one of those different things where you already smell what the rock is cooking before that must come up. Okay. And it's at that point where you have gone through it so much. And that's the reason why there's a lot of times things is placed into your life where it will be you had to deal with a lot of toxic people or you may have been dogged out a lot or maybe, you know, you sit up here and people came up in your face and was doing this and this and that until you got to that point where you got tired of people coming at you for no reason like that. Because some a lot of people will play you like that just to see what kind of response you had. And I had a lot of people like that. And I'm like, look. <laughs> You don't know where I came from. You don't know my experience. If I was you, I'll back the fuck up a little bit. You know, keep that over there because you really don't want me to come out of my. Don't make me come out of my bag on you. Please don't. You know, it'd be like okay, <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, go. Uh, Mayweather, don't play with me. You know, I've been like that. People underestimate it because I'm five two. I'm short. You know, and but this time I was like a buck on five. Please don't play with it. I, I roll with the punches. Don't do that. You know, people would do that. And, you know, it'll be at that point. And it was just like, then when I start seeing people play with my character like that, will be certain things that they know will trigger me. And people like, hey, this will trigger her. I need you to do this. And I had different people like, you know, you, you could be, so if you're, I could be daggone smurfing your ass coming up in me like Dumbo and junk like that. And I'm just like, uh, uh, daggone smurf ain't become incredible hope real quick. And it will be just like, you don't allow that person, you know what, last time you almost killed somebody coming out your character like that because they underestimate you. You about to deal with this with Dumbo too. Like, nah, I'm going to let Dumbo be Dumbo and then you go ahead and walk off. You know, and it was really at that point where I was like, my pride was really getting tickled that day. And it's like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. But, you know, you needed that job. And you know, you, you didn't have bail money. <laughs> you know, you ain't got time to be sitting up here trying to put somebody together after you don't rip them apart. We already know what you're doing because you're an empath that will open up some power. And you don't know how to use that yet because you know how to manipulate different things and, you know, wreck, wreck shop with it. So, you had to be able to learn from that. So, it will be different things. That's why I love being able to have the platform that I have to be able to tell people, yes, I've been through this. How did you overcome it? It had to have peace and patience. 
because you you're gonna have different things that's gonna come at you and it's gonna disrupt that because they don't want you to be healed. They want you to be in the midst of confusion. They want you to be able to second guess yourself. They don't want you to be standing in your truth or power. They they were okay with you living in that lie. Some people use you and you know you could be the nicest thing, but out there in the street you some kind of enemy and villain. They done made you look like the worst person of the worst because all of a sudden now you done uh uh I ain't no. I stay in my room. Okay, you gonna put you by yourself. Okay, I'm okay with being by myself. Okay, you gonna do this? No, I will not. Oh, you know they become difficult, crazy, or they delusional. Okay, I'll be that. They don't bother you. You know, such and such said this. I don't care. That's not how I am. You know, we don't really get the we really get the truth out there if they really want to be like that. You know, be different stuff like that. And they had to be on those different things. But now I'm like, you know what? Let them say what they want. Anybody who really knows me or what they know that oh she stayed in her power, oh they got inferior issues, oh they they they, they got mad because she put up boundaries, she won't let you know people won't get over on her or she you know she she don't allow herself to be manipulated, you know, so I know her. That's not whatever they putting out there negative about her. That's not her, but you'll see it too if you really want to get a chance to see that. Or if you want to be an enemy of her, she ain't going to matter about that either. But I know her. That's my girl. Da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, okay. You know. And it would be one of those different things. But these are those different things where you standing, standing in your power. You the front seat driver. You want to be on this. You know, you want to go, you know, enhancing this thing. You know, what do they, they call that? Uh, God, dog. What is it? You, you, you looking at the scenes. You want to enjoy the scenery. That's fine. But I'm driving. I don't need you to be telling me what directions or where I'm going. God is the only one. God is my GPS, not you. <laughs> you know, you want to be all like that. Okay, you know, here, I'm putting you on the street. Why are you going? No, because you keep on trying to tell me left, right. You need to slow down. You need to speed up. Oh, there's a speed bump right here. And ain't no, no speed bump. You're trying to do everything you can for me not to get to that destination that God sent me to. So I'm going to go ahead and put you right here on Front Street. You know, it's like, well, I'm putting you on front street. You're going to stand right there. I'm going to hand you right back to the streets. Because you're trying to, uh, you know, you're trying to detour me from what God got me going on. And you have to be right there. You all really have to be like that. And it's at that point right now where it's telling you, you stand in your power. Be okay with saying no. Be okay with not having to explain to somebody why you didn't want to answer the door. Why didn't you want to pick up the phone? Why didn't you want to call me? Or why you didn't respond to his text? Or why you didn't text me? Or why have we haven't spoken in a while? Or da, da, da. Be, okay, well, I just didn't feel like it. You know, and it ain't got to be nothing against them. But it'd be times where you need that time to yourself. And you shouldn't have to explain that. Now, if it's different, if it's, you know, when it has something to do with your work. But if it's any other person like that, I needed time to myself. If you on your grind, you ain't going to be worrying about it. Like, okay, if, you know, we going to meet up, we going to meet up. If not, you know, hey, I'm going to ask, hey, is everything okay? I'm not going to automatically think that person's mad at me. They may, they may be going through something, especially if I know I haven't done nothing to that person. I'm not going to take it personal. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, if you need me, I'm here. I'm going to use like, what you on your, I'm on my grind. Okay, you on your grind too? It ain't going to be nothing personal like that. If somebody's sitting up here, they worrying about what Sally doing, worried about ain't doing nothing with their life. You know, you gonna take it personal. It's like when you stay focused on you, you ain't gonna have time to be worried about what other people are doing because you are focused on you. So if whatever you're going through right now, being able to see there's a blessing, you know, and I know I sound like a little textbook or whatever, but there's a blessing in everything. There's an underlying of blessing in disguise for everything you're facing. Somebody done broke up with you. Somebody done turned their back on you. Somebody not supporting you. Somebody not believing in you. There's always some line of blessing in disguise, and it's up to you to be able to see it. So you keep moving. You know, there keep moving. There's something that's gonna come into your life that's really gonna give you a deeper understanding of purpose on why things are going the way it is. And it's up to you to be able to find it. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh Sam C. Much love, good to hear from you. As well as uh Stone Soup as well. If you good, you know, you I say you good to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you. Even if you're not, you know, drop a line. I would love to get your insight or your feedback on the videos that you're watching or the post that you see it will be greatly appreciated I leave all my contact information in the description box below it's all about spiritual networking you know being able to have a deeper understanding about the things that's taking place in your life or just be able to have that show of support you know within the you know our 
soul tribe, you know, being able to do that. We're all trying to get on that vibe of really understanding ourselves to a deeper level, trying to understand why certain things take place. You know, God be able to give me the insight on that. I want to be able to help out and, you know, do everything I got to be able to do to give you that deeper understanding. Whatever we speak on is confidential. I'll be able to help you out the best way I can. You know, go to my community part of my, my, uh, my video, uh, my uh, my videos, my channel. Even they have shorts now. I forgot they have it like that. Now they'll put more varieties out on um, content creators where you have that. I, you know, I share a lot of different shorts on my videos. Whether it's you know something that has something to do with God, something that's funny, you know, something to just give you, you know, it could be a, a, a twenty second. Uh, uh, you know, mantra or affirmation or even a meditation just to be able to level you up, give you some energy or just give you some positive vibrations that happen to your life. I love to be able to share stuff like that. You know, you go on my uh, community section, it shows like different, my different podcasts on there that I share as well. Um, what else? My different posts that I have on there. You know, if there's different things that, you know, we're going through a huge atmosphere transition. If you may be going through Kundalini ascension right now, that mess is heavy. You may be dealing with a lot of dark night of the soul. You be having a lot of energy where it's just positive or you done cleared out so much where you feel very sensitive. You drop, you know, cry at the drop of a hat. Hey, it's normal right now. So it's okay. So, um, you know, as in that, and if you feel uh, generous enough to drop a donation, please, you know, go ahead head my cash app is there and whatever you're needing towards um your manifestation whether it's you know calmness healing uh persistence you know um consistency you know faith belief you know you're going through all different things so whatever you're needing i'm giving you that 20 times full you know never sleep on yourself stay persistent and consistent in every single thing you do you know the devil sees your you know your potential as well as your light so he'll send any and everything towards your way to make you doubt that make you drop it and give up so it could be something today just because you know blessings may come in tomorrow so you know go ahead and keep on going and you know i hope you have a blessed uh prosperous week please be responsible and safe for everything you do and even through uh, social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. All those things can really take somebody a long way. And just because you're helping somebody to do that, it can take you even further. And, you know, much love, light, shalom, I say. Uh, namaste. God bless. Peace.